making touch sensors more sensitive. We're making electrodes that are stretchable. Uh, with carbon nanotubes, we're making energy generating devices uh, using them. Uh, also, we're making uh, transistors that are flexible and potentially printable over a large area so that we can use these transistors to uh, power the displays uh, we're, we're using for laptops. So here, we have our carbon nanotube ink, and here we have our substrate with a metallic stencil on top through which we're going to deposit our carbon nanotube ink. And as you can see, as we spray coat onto the substrate, you can see that the carbon nanotubes only deposit where there is an opening. If I bend my wrist, the electronic skin is able to sense how much I'm bending my wrist. Now, this sort of device can be used for, say, in robotics or in prosthetics that can give amputees uh, the sense of touch or give robotics also the sense of touch. It starts with being and then I can take some solutions and then I can um, put a few drops. I can take it off now. I just uh, remove the vacuum and then I can take the substrate. After we spin coat the nanotubes on top of the circuit, we can um, take the flexible substrate off, like so, and then and we can use them for flexible display or we can put them to um, RFID circuit. Uh, to align the carbon nanotubes, uh, one of the ways uh, to, to do that, uh, especially over a large area, is to uh, use a liquid to flow the nanotube across the substrate. This is a kind of like flowing logs along the river, then these logs will be aligned uh, along the direction of the flow of the river. Uh, so this kind of phenomenon can actually be applied to align carbon nanotubes over a very large area without using sophisticated methods.